this is why we fish right here. This is why we go bass fishing. Fishing. We're gonna be trying some lures. What's up, buddy? What? Hey! What's going on, man? Tell me what's going on here. Uh, black tip pound for pound. I want to go bad as the can of the ocean. They're gonna jump. They're gonna be aggressive. The goal today is to catch them on bait and on lures. You're in good hands, my man. Alright, buddy. Let's go do it. Let's do it. again and you know last time went with Josh the black tip hunter but we went Goliath grouper fishing and it was an awesome experience he absolutely brutalized me with these huge fish and you know I was just struck at how many different types of these big fish he catches all over the place and so this time he said man we got to go after black tips the fishing's really good down here the black tips are everywhere this is their season where they come in and I'm all over it. And there's really, there's really two things that convinced me to come down here. Number one was the sharks. You know, I've been obsessed with sharks since I was a kid. I've watched Shark Week since it first came on and I've just always loved sharks. But the other thing he said was we could catch them on lures. And you know, I've always thought you go catch sharks like you catch catfish a lot of times. You chum up the water a little bit, get some bloody bait out there, and they come bite it and that works awesome but anytime you can catch them on lures that's really speaking my language that's like that's like bass fishing you know so for a bass fisherman to hear that catch them on lures and even top water i'm done i'm sold you know get me the plane ticket i'm heading down Not 
even an eight ounce sinker can hold. So the second day we got here, guys, was just so windy. We had a bad east wind, but we decided to capitalize on the opportunity to go try to get my revenge on the stingray that almost pulled me in the water last time. Since the beach was so turbid and we couldn't even get our baits out there, we went inland a little bit in this, this stingray area. So we get to the, the place, we're chumming the water, and here comes Big Brutus again giant this one's even bigger the size of a hood of a car and we drop the bait down there he's ready to eat and i am fired up my heart's pounding we beefed up the gear i'm having flashbacks of going in last time but i'm ready and then the law came down on us you know one of the authorities around there said we couldn't fish because of the construction in the area and uh, it scared the stingrays off so we weren't able to catch that stingray, but I was a little bit relieved at the end because when I saw how big it was, and I was thinking this thing's a, probably about the same weight as me, I could go skiing across the water. So the stingrays won again, but I'm gonna have my revenge one of these days. Stingray wins again. back out here it's calmed down a little bit and the conditions are looking good um, I'm pretty excited right now the, the waves are, are looking really nice there's a lot of bait here so it looks looks pretty promising let's see what happens you can do see you see you see a real bad situation there wow when they get wrapped up like that they're lucky to get them in Get your workout in, man. Woo. 
this still takes time. Look at that. That's a good one. I mean, you know, you never know with these things. You could get a five footer that bites like the most hardest thing you've ever seen in your life, then you get a six footer that just comes right in. They're, just how crazy they are. These males, they're, they're, they're in breeding mode right now. They're fine, trying to find a female, so they got a lot of testosterone. Some of them are just crazy. It's like a honey badger. I know, he's like a honey badger. He just, the black the black kids don't care. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. What just happened? Uh, well, I was pulling the fish in, back into the water. He was at least an eight foot short. He must have weighed 600 pounds. <laughs> when, I was, when I was pulling him back in, he threw me down and tried to eat me. And Josh saved me. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> Gotta be very gentle. I only got 30 pound braid on here. He hits it with his tail, it's over in a, in a blink of an eye. Gone. Some baby in this fish right now. It's almost here. Almost got him. First shark of the morning, Josh. You just hooked up with a shark on top water. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. This lure is shredded. And that just looks like a giant bass lure to me. I'm shaking right now. I'm so pumped because you mentioned top water and then you got sharks. That's awesome. It exploded on the bait. How cool is it when you watch the chase it, dude? That's one of the coolest things I've seen. ever seen in fishing, man. I'm ready to go get one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go right now. Alright Josh man, I have thrown until my shoulder is sore and I can't get one of these sharks to bite so I gotta come back but I want you to tell everybody how awesome it is to catch them on top one. Uh, this is how awesome it really is. When I, caught, when I started catching them on top water I didn't even want to use a cut bait ever again. I mean, it's so much fun to, to watch like mini air jaws come up on your lure. It's, it's a sharknado. I, I can't describe how exciting it is to see a 6 foot 80 pound shark come four or five feet out of the water, busting on the lure, it's out of this world. And you got these things in your backyard. Yeah, I'm jealous. Man guys, what a trip down here. Again, coming down to Florida with Josh, the black tip hunter, and what an experience, man. This, this place is just on fire. Uh, you can catch anything, anything that you want to catch, and if you're a bass fisherman, you can really relate to what's going on. Uh, so many different fisheries down here, so make sure at some point in your life, get down to Florida and experience some of this fishing. And the sharks, they're always here. They're always roaming. So I want to thank Josh for taking us out again, putting us on the fish, and it was a great time, guys. So I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll catch y'all later. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. If you want to see that shark get the upper hand on my dad again, make sure you go check that out. 
And you know, all this rain we've been having in Texas, you just never know what's going to get up under your, your boat trailer. So next time I'll show you what slithery thing get up under this boat trailer. And hey, I got more uh, bass videos and reviews and things like that coming in the short future. So stay tuned and I'll catch y'all later.